In this video we will look at the Wingate login client and how to use it to authenticate users. For many of our users, using the browser to pass authentication credentials through to Wingate is an ideal solution that requires no input from users on the network and allows Wingate to discover user credentials when used with an access rule or policy that requires authentication. When two or more users share a machine and user activity needs to be tracked, users must be able to log off Wingate. Wingate caches user credentials and sometimes the second user can inherit the credentials established by the first user. The login client gives the first user the ability to log out of Wingate so the next user can establish their own credentials. The login utility also helps when some system process like an update has run and the credentials are established using the machine name. When the user logs in with the login client, they will override the previous credentials and authenticate as themselves. You'll find the Wingate login utility in the Utilities folder in the Wingate directory. The executable file is cubicauth.exe. You will need to copy the executable to each client machine, and if you place it in the Startup folder for all users, then it can log in and out of Wingate when the user logs in or out of Windows. The Wingate login client connects to the remote control service, so you will need a binding policy to bind the service to the LAN adapter to allow the connection. By default the remote control service only binds to the local host adapter. There is a configuration option for what to do when the user logs out from the login client. Choosing clear cached credentials for IP means that when the user logs out of Wingate, the authentication credentials are discarded. You can also choose to downgrade credentials to assumed, or do nothing. On the client machine, all you need to do is run the exe. Now you will be prompted to enter the IP address and port of the Wingate server. In my case that will be 192.168.90.75 and the port is 808. I'll enter a username and password and click the login button. Now I get a message that I'm connected to the Wingate server and if I check the activity panel I can see an authenticated session with my browsing. Note the Wingate login client connection as well. Now if I want to log out, I can either right click the icon in the system tray or open the utility and click the log out button. If I now enter a different username and connect, I can see in the activity panel that my user credentials have changed. So that's the Wingate login client. As always, if you have any questions, please visit our website at wingate.com or check out our Facebook page, and you'll find links to both of these in the description below. Thanks for watching.